Hello mortals. You are most likely between 1.4 and 1.9 meters in height, unless you live in Denmark. But for the sake of the video, we will approximate all humans to 1 meter in size. And now here is the question. Are you closer to the smallest object in the universe, or to the entire observable universe itself? For that, we need to know their actual sizes. We'll start with the observable universe. How do we even begin to measure its radius? Fairly easy. We measure how long does it take for the primordial light from the Big Bang to reach us. Since we know that the universe is 13.8 billion years old, we can calculate that the light from the Big Bang could have traveled for this amount of time, giving us a distance of 13.8 billion light years. So here you have it, the radiance of the observable universe. Except no. We left out one crucial thing, space expansion. Possibly because of dark energy, any two gravitationally unbound objects in the universe will drift away with time, as the space between them expands. Thus, the initial light ray from the Big Bang will now be much farther away than the distance it should have traveled, because space in a way pushed it while expanding. This way, through some fancy calculations, Scientists derived that the radius of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, or 93 billion light years in diameter. That's quite a bit more than its age. And now, time for some fun facts. The distance from the Earth to the Sun is called an astronomical unit, and is equivalent to 8.3 light minutes. One of the largest stars in the universe, V.Y. Canis Majoris has a diameter of 13 astronomical units, or almost 2 light hours. But that's nothing compared to the largest known black hole, Tun 618, with a colossal diameter of 1,300 astronomical units, or 7.5 light days. Think about it, it would take light more than a week to get from one side to another if it could pass through a black hole which it can't because black holes. But the single biggest object in our observable universe is the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, a supercluster of galaxies that measure 10 billion light years in length, 9% of the entire observable universe. Alright, so now that we know the largest size on the spectrum, let's jump to the other side, and find out the size of the smallest object in the universe. I won't make the joke. I'm better than that. If we zoom 1000 times on a human, we get to see the Thea margaritinamabiensis, the largest bacterium ever recorded, at half a millimeter. Zooming in one more thousand times, we get to see the largest virus at 440 nanometers, the megavirus Childsis. One more zoom and we get to the wavelength of the X-ray and the largest atom, that of francium. After 50 picometers, even the best electronic microscopes become obsolete. Close to that limit is the smallest atom, the helium atom. 25 times smaller we have the gamma ray wavelength. Next we have the electron, which is 200 times smaller than that. I'm using the word small a lot, how about I shake it up with some synonyms. 5 times littler, than the electron, are both the proton and the neutron once thought to be the compactest indivisible particles, but not for too long. It has been discovered that they are made up of even more minuscule particles, the quarks, ranging from 1000 to 10 million times tinier than the protons. And finally, we have the neutrinos, 100 times smaller than even the smallest quark. That's it, that's all that we have confirmed actually exists. But in physics there are a few frameworks that postulate the existence of even tinier objects. And one of the most realistic ones is the string theory. It replaces all the point-like particles with one-dimensional strings that vibrate. Depending on the frequency of the vibration, different types of particles can arise, one of which is the graviton, a hypothetical particle thought to be responsible for mediating the force of gravity. These strings are hypothesized to be the size of the Planck length, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 35 meters, 100 billion times smaller than the current leader, the neutrino. It is believed that it is impossible to go below such sizes, the answer as to why is in that video.
So we finally have them, the sizes for both the biggest and the smallest objects in the universe, the biggest being the observable universe itself. With some basic math, we can deduce that a human is roughly 1 billion times closer to the size of the observable universe than it is to the size of a string. If that isn't shocking, I don't know what is. Our observable universe is obviously huge beyond comprehension, but the fact that you can zoom in 1 billion times more than you can zoom out, is simply mind-blowing. Know what else is mind-blowing? The deal from today's sponsor that made this video possible, NordVPN. Awarded as the best VPN of 2020, NordVPN encrypts your data while you browse online, and doesn't allow unwanted parties to access it. Connect to over 5,000 fast servers anywhere in the world and surf anonymously from that region. Did you too block a video for your region? Or is there a Netflix show unavailable in your country? Simply select your region of choice and the problem is solved. You can even have your own dedicated IP, choose double VPN for extra security or repair to peer server for fast torrenting. Connect up to 6 devices at the same time and use it as much as you need it, as you have unlimited bandwidth available. The CyberSec suite available also acts as an adblocker. Use the lightweight Chrome extension for even user-friendlier browsing. NordVPN is compatible with almost all operating systems, be it Windows, Mac OS, Android or iOS. Recommended by the top technology experts, you can get 70% off of your NordVPN subscription, paying only $3.49 monthly. By accessing the link from the description or using the coupon science file you also get one extra month for free.